Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to XAML tutorials today is our lecture number 13 and in today's lecture I am going to demonstrate how can you create and perform animations in a uh, XAML application using visual blend okay so basically visual blend is a software where you can perform animations uh, it is very similar like macromedia flash if you might have used it okay so uh, basically uh, to perform animations and to include animations within your is, uh, existing XAML application you need the services of the visual blend okay so I will uh, demonstrate you in this particular lecture how can you uh, create animations and how can you integrate that animation with uh, uh, from visual blend to visual studio uh, application okay so let's start and have a look how can we do that so I have created a blank page that's name is moving ball and let me add it uh, as a starting page here so okay now that's fine so my starting page will be this and now let's go to the properties uh, of this and change its background to some beautiful or some attractive user interface okay so that will that will become much better now uh, let us uh, go to the toolbox and then pick up a rectangle and now place this rectangle let's say close this toolbox now uh, place this rectangle here now what you can do you can come here at this point and then increase it look it becomes a circle okay so XML is basically for a better UI that's it so you can do anything so that's become my circle now uh, what I can do I can make it uh, some dif with different color that's my uh, color so that's my ball and, and I wanted to animate this ball okay so what I can do I wanted to move this ball on the edges of the screen from uh, top right bottom left so uh, first save this and then uh, right come here and then right click on your application and then you can see design in blend okay this is the option you have to click design in blend when you when the blend will open it will give you all the tools and the things uh, that are required for the animation right guys so look uh, my uh, Microsoft blend for Visual Studio is now uh, open in front of you people and you can see there is solution explorer there is a timeline so all the things are uh, very similar there is the property uh, option and your application is now opened at this point so which uh, file I wanted to display here that is my moving ball file so right click here and include in project okay so include in project and then double click here to open it so that's basically my file close everything that was already opened make it clean now what I wanted to do I wanted to move this ball look there there are the same same things uh, that you see in Visual Studio okay only the difference is this object and timeline because in animation you need objects and the timeline on which the object will travel so first thing that you have to do is to create a storyboard and the name of your storyboard is let's say my ball or my story let's say you can create multiple storyboards together no problem and then click ok when you click ok you notice at this particular area at this point see my cursor at this point a timeline is created and this timeline is starting from 0 then 1 these are basically my seconds the seconds of the time clock okay now what you can do you can close this and you can save it and you come here okay let me go to the XML and come here the design so that the design is updated now what I wanted to do at 1 I'm moving this ball from this point to this point okay and now go to the 0 look on 0 I was at this place and on one I have moved this ball on the right hand side and now you can when you come here and when you start this you see the ball is moving because the area is so much so it's going on very fast so you can similarly you can go forward and you can make this animation to towards two second or further as long as you wish to I hope it is clear to everyone so right click delete so I have deleted from here and I have added here so now start 
at this point move it let's say here okay and now let's start so i hope it is clear to everyone now from this point i wanted to go further on fourth second at this point and then i wanted to move it at this point and then on the sixth part on the sixth second i'm going to move this ball at this point again i hope it is clear to everyone up till now now let's start and see what's the result so look guys basically this is the animation that you can that you are performing okay now what else you have to do save it just save it now go to your visual studio when you come on visual studio a pop up will appear that you have modified your files outside visual studio so do you want it to update the files here inside visual studio yes to all please so everything is now reloaded and updated the files are updated now what you can do you can pick up some buttons okay that's my button and the name of the button should be play so i will handle this play pause stop events so increase the font from this to this it becomes this one so play then copy and paste that's will become my pause and again paste and now uh, rename it to play btn and then it should become p a u s e pause btn and then uh, the name should be pause and it should become resume okay so resume btn and it should become resume and one more button you should add that is the stop button okay so let me write here stop btn and then the name should be stop okay so select all these buttons and right click and order sorry group into canvas so now these are my buttons that are moving together i hope it is clear to everyone i have demonstrated this thing in the previous lectures also so i have placed these things uh, in between now what i have to do double click on the play button and go to the code and here what you have to write my story look that was the storyboard that you have created in the visual studio blend okay so my story dot begin okay so when you write the begin it initiates the animation when you click the play button save it similarly when you come here on pause you can write here my story dot pause simple these are simple methods that you can use and then uh, let's go to the other events that is resume and another event that is stop so sorry for that yes a stop button is created now so my story dot resume so the animation will continue and then my story dot stop simple so let's start and see what's the result okay so my app is loaded i have started my uh, app from the visual studio and then i have closed that and then i have started my application from directly from the start menu so that the markers are not there now let's play i hope it is clear to everyone pause resume stop okay so you can do animation of any type you can uh, run fans you can you can uh, ride a horse you can uh, sunrise you can sunset whatever you wish to do you can animate here with the help of this visual studio blend okay so hopefully you have understood uh, how can you perform animations let me give you a task you have to place a background image uh, of a road that is coming in front of you and you have to pick up you have to place a car at the back of the road in a very small size and then by using animation you have to increase the size of that car scale that car 
and make the size of the car increasing and bring it front in the front of the car so uh, when you run that animation you will see that the car is coming from far away from the road from the very small size because the thing that is away uh, is looking small so the image was very small at the end of the road and slowly slowly it coming forward and it is becoming uh, the size of the car becomes increasing at the end of the road you stop the car simple so you can create something uh, something like this uh, animation so uh, now over to you hope you have understood everything if you don't understand anything please do write me thank you so much take care allah hafiz